Hey everybody, Nancy Pelosi now faces a tough squeeze between progressive and moderate Democrats over passing two key elements of President Biden's economic agenda. And the federal unemployment benefits are set to expire very soon. Folks, I just hope Speaker Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer, even Mitch McConnell, they must unite together. They must unite together and join forces to send out the fourth stimulus check. They have to put away their political differences and focus on helping out the American people. If you guys agree, then leave a comment down below saying I agree. Very pleased that the number of Republicans who uh, voted for truth uh, and justice. Today, the House continues our work uh, to protect the Capitol with an emergency supplemental funding bill. Uh, it does, it's based on the facts and findings of the uh, of uh, General Honoré's report. General Honoré had a task force of national security and law enforcement. Some lawmakers have picked up the idea of a fourth stimulus check. 21 senators, all Democrats, signed a letter to President Biden in support of recurring stimulus payments. And they point out that the $1,400 payment being distributed by the IRS will not last long for many families. Did the $1,400 stimulus check help you out, folks? Tell me in the comments below. The good news is this. Some top economists have called for more direct aid to us. More than 150 economists have signed a letter to President Biden arguing for recurring direct stimulus payments until the economy recovers. The Biden administration has decided to pass a permanent increase in grocery benefits. And the boost could become a temporary increase of 50%. And we have a ton of news to go over in today's video. So be sure to stand to the end to never miss out the very important stimulus check news. I think it's really important to note this historic decision. Uh, once again, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act and the transformational protections uh, that it provides every American, no matter where, uh, where they get their coverage. I want to thank the grassroots across the country uh, who worked tirelessly as advocates for the American for just the, Amer the Affordable Care Act. So everybody, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi floated a procedural move on the bipartisan infrastructure bill. But the idea did not satisfy a group of moderates who are pushing for a quick vote on the passage. And let's not forget everybody, the House of Representatives is returning in order to pass the Senate approved $3.5 trillion budget resolution, which will pave the way for social spending that can pass with only Democratic votes. And now, nine moderate Democrats have said that they will not vote on the $3.5 trillion bill until the House passes the infrastructure legislation. This puts many Americans across the country in a tough situation. Since many Democrats do not want to pass this bill, that means the stimulus checks might be delayed until later this year. The Senate already approved the infrastructure bill with bipartisan support. And this is a major victory for President Biden as he looks to enact his economic agenda. Pay out every benefit owed to every eligible American for the next 19 years. That is not a program going broke. Further, Social Security is independently funded by the payroll tax, the 6.2% of your paycheck that you and your employer pay. That means that Social Security does not add one nickel to the deficit. It has its own source of funding. Its passage was the culmination of months of negotiations between the White House and a bipartisan group of senators. The plan includes $550 billion in new spending to revitalize the nation's roads, bridges, railways, and ports. And now the upper chamber then passed a budget resolution along party lines. This clears the way for it to craft its massive $3.5 trillion measure. Now Democrats are using a process called budget reconciliation to approve the sweeping plan which allows the spending package to pass the Senate without GOP support. Yes, everybody, at least some Democrats are trying to get the bill sent out. At least some Democrats are trying to send out the Ford stimulus check to us. By the way, everybody, who is to blame for holding back our stimulus money? The Democrats or the Republicans? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Now, the budget resolution, folks, is the second plank of a two-track strategy made by Democratic leaders to enact President Biden's economic priorities. Throughout the crisis, the additional unemployment benefits provided by the federal government have been a vital lifeline for millions of people who have lost their livelihoods due to the crisis. Unemployment assistance, for example, through the PUEC program, was first introduced in the CARES Act of 2020, back in March. Now, the bad news is that all three of these programs are set to expire on September 6th, pretty much a month away. A number of states have gone one step further and voluntarily withdrew from the programs 
ahead of the deadline. This prevents the residents from accessing the federal support. And so far, 26 states have announced their intention to cancel involvement in the $300 weekly unemployment benefits. What do you think about this, everybody? Should the unemployment benefits be extended or should it be canceled out like many Republican and even Democratic states are beginning to do? Tell me your thoughts in the comments on this, everybody. Now, despite the impending end date for the additional unemployment support, there is still some hope that President Biden may opt to extend it further. Earlier this month, the CDC extended the federal eviction moratorium after pressure from advocacy groups speaking about unemployment benefits. So if the benefits are allowed to lapse around three and a half million, around, now if the benefits are allowed to lapse, around seven and a half million people, as well as their families, will lose $300 weekly payments. In July, around 72% of all Americans receiving any form of unemployment support were enrolled in the crisis programs. The boost will go into effect October 1st for 42 million people that are on food stamps. On a per-person basis, benefits on average will add about $36 per month to the pre-crisis level of about $121 per month each month. Folks, that's all the news in this video. I hope you guys find this video useful and helpful. If you did, don't, feel for, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We can include a lot more people, and in addition, we can wear more comfortable clothes, which we all appreciate. Uh, so before I turn to your questions, I want to say just a few words to recognize the incredibly powerful full work that you all do as teachers. Now, it would be important to mention this in any year, but especially now in the 17th mon month of our upended reality, it's very important. At the Fed, we take the value and responsibility of public service pretty seriously, and there really is no greater contribution to the common good than teaching. The pandemic has been tough on everyone, but it, it has asked more of some than others. Making it through this time has been no small feat for anyone, but teachers deserve distinct praise and appreciation. Educators have had to restructure their teaching, adapt to new platforms, and help their students make their way through added stresses and pitfalls. That must have been especially tough without the day-to-day -day interactions that help you connect it's clear that so many teachers have gone above and beyond the call of duty to remain a consistent, reliable resource for their students. Parents deserve a shout out as well for their part in helping reconstruct something as enormous and consequential as our entire educational system. And students have also shown remarkable courage and resilience. For all of us, daily life has been disrupted, milestones like birthdays and graduations have been missed, and a once-in-a-lifetime crisis has cast a shadow of insecurity and uncertainty. But to take on that burden as a formative experience is truly extraordinary, and you should all feel very proud. Finding the bright side to the past 17